Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome back to another episode of Medieval Engineers. Uh, I apologize for not having any, few, any episodes lately. I've had a bit of a case of a builder's block. I don't know what happened. I had you know, this big vision, and everything was sort of fit into place, and then all of a sudden, I just didn't know where to start. But what I did is I, well, for one, well, this, you might as well talk about this now. I went, I went ahead and I carved like little pathways with the hoe just to sort of you know see if I can maybe get an idea of where I want to put things right like of course my house is way at the back I've got this going all the way up to the gate uh, I got a little path going here there's gonna be like mainly residential in this area here a um, couple of different things we'll talk about there's not one over there I'll talk about later but I got this path going around here both sides just for now uh, I don't know how much space the castle is going to take. Like, I'm thinking about having, like, walled-in areas in the, the back and the front. Maybe, like, a fancy entrance of some sort. And then we go along here, and then uh, at the end of the castle here, there should be another path. And then this path goes up to the other end of the castle, goes around. And then I got this going down here towards the, the farm. I did rebuild the house. I was not too happy about that. I did a little, uh experimentation with uh, trying to build and uh, it's possible to actually s snap the blocks lower if I dig a small hole first but they don't really line up the way they wanted but at least I'd be able to get the mouse pointer down a little more so and get it uh, be placed a little better because I like this better than having the foundation up here like that's just ridiculous and then I went ahead and put the fence back in I made sure not to connect it to any wall so there's going to be a gap at either end of the fence which is good enough Right, you don't really see it. it's not connected. Uh, the only thing is, is on this side of the house, there is going to be an opening because if I try to snap it to here, it's going to have the fence is going to be going into the ground. So I had to sort of free place it here, and then I went along and just put the fence around. It's you no know, okay. You can jump over it, whatever. Yeah, so we got that, and I was still thinking about putting the flax here. Uh, again, I didn't actually connect it to this end because I can't, but. Yeah, uh, we're talking about putting a flax field here. Uh, this area here, I'm thinking it's going to be like the marketplace. Because we're going to have the farm here, and we're going to have the textile place there. Uh, still thinking about having the blacksmith here, but I don't know if he's going to be over there. We might have a, might set up a small little mine, just get down to where the rock is exposed. Fancy it up with an archway or something like that. And then probably the blacksmith might have his shop right here, or even over here by the farm. And then we'll get different shops going in, like furniture place, and um, maybe even uh, maybe one guy selling farm equipment to this guy who'll never use it. I don't know. And then there's uh, another idea I was thinking about too is down over here. Um, I'd like to try to pen in some of these deer if I can. I don't know if they despawn or or if they'll glitch through a wall or something. But I was thinking about this side and over here, what to do with it. Originally, I was thinking like sort of like a slums area, but it doesn't really sort of out of the way. You don't really see it because of this hill, right? But if I were to build the walls up, we could probably wall this out a little bit and maybe make like little holding pens that I could try to chase the deer into, close them off, open them up to the inside, close off the pen again, and then that way... I don't have to worry about leaving it open while I'm trying to gather these guys. Because they're spawning in here quite a bit. I've been getting a few barbarians. Uh, nothing too fancy. I've got a bunch of meat. And I think I've got another antler. But I haven't gotten any skulls yet. And then we got up the front here. And then I haven't really figured out what to do here. There's a lot of work. Maybe I made it too big. I don't know. And unfortunately, if we fast travel up the mountain here, we can't actually we'll go up to this one here don't really see the paths too well. You can sort of see it, but you know what I mean? It's with the way the draw distance works. And I've also been uh, using this area here as a little lookout as well. Oh, that's our uh, log stock, our stone stockpiles. But if I go up here, and unfortunately I can't just fast travel up here, and I love that glitch in the mountain. Every time I come here for stone, I see that. that I, I'm always worried it's going to drop on me or something. But, we go up here. That's actually something I've been wanting to try out, too. Is to see, uh... If it's possible to have, like, a, a chunk of mountain floating. Oh, 
Come on. Oh, get me up there. Get me up there. What? I went up here bef no problem before. Now you won't let me? Why not? Oh, are you serious? This is because I was a running before? There we go. So we can get a little bit of better of a view here. But again, you don't see the pass. It just looks like beating up dirt. But those are just sort of... We'll call them grid lines, layout lines, whatever. But anyways, uh, let us head down. And now I actually want to maybe start working on the, the blacksmith a little bit. Let's see if we can find a way to actually get a stone block sitting low enough to actually look like a floor, not a half a wall. But uh, I, the, the pathways definitely did add some immersion. But you see there's a deer over there. There's always deer in here, and I'm wondering, I want to see if I can capture them. But I tried messing around with this day cycle too. I just tried to see if uh change it to the 48 hour day cycle. And when I first loaded it up, it was nighttime, the sun was just going down, so I had to change it to seven minutes, wait for the sun to be right about here. And as soon as I changed it to 48 hours, it was nighttime again. And I wasn't gonna wait to a day and a half for it to be daytime. Not a chance. Oh yeah, this is where I'm thinking here, is, uh, you know, like I said, we got the farmhouse here. I, I took that little entrance way off. I just left it like a tiny little rancher. And now that I'm here, I do remember that I grabbed a torch for this guy. Give him a little bit of light. And just put that right there. And we'll turn it on and burn his house down. You know, if they add, uh, fire mechanics in this game. I'm sure everybody's going to be screwed over. <laughs> Big time. And, oh yeah, I had to go do that. Lots of building materials there. Now, I'm wondering if I put if I put the gate in, will these guys stop spawning in here or coming in here? Oh, never mind. We just climbed the wall and took off. <laughs> anyway, that's good to know. Okay, so, uh, do I have a pickaxe on me? Of course I don't. Look at this. I got three axes. I got lots of leather from these barbarians. I got a ton of meat, too. I spent probably a good 20 minutes, half an hour cooking, just getting all sorts of food ready. That way I don't have to worry about spending time off camera doing it. Or mid-episode cooking. Speaking of food, you guys got so much food here. We got bread, we got goulash, we got steak, uh, tons of meat. Uh, what did I come here for? To eat and... Oh, yeah, pickaxe. Oh, I know where a pickaxe is. I left it in one of these random chests. Alright, uh, there you are. Go ahead and take you, put you there, because we don't need the plow for now. Get rid of these, we've got so much iron, it's just unbelievable. That's definitely going to help, too, is once we start getting lights around, torches and whatnot. But, let's see where would be a good place, because that's going to be his mine there. But maybe we'll start over here. And I'm thinking maybe... Maybe the, the back of it will be here. And so he'll be open on three sides, sort of deal. I'm not sure. See if we can get a foundation in here that looks half decent. So if I go like this. If I actually hit the ground. There we go. Okay. So now if I go and place this block down. That block, not the stairs. And so I can actually get my mouse pointer in there a little bit more so I can get it lower. So it, it kind of helps out. I can also snap it too. It'll snap for me. It'll snap on a different spot. And it won't. So let's dig it out a little more. It's okay because we're going to be covering it up anyways. So we'll go ahead back to 9. And that was not the right button. But that's what I mean. Is you can sort of get a little lower. I could probably dig it down further if I want. It's not snapping the way it did on the other one. The other one, it, it snapped, like, basically flat to the ground. Uh, excuse me one moment. 
All right, I'm back. All right, so that wasn't quite enough. Let's go down a little bit more. Let's see what happens. Uh, at the same time, too, I want to try to keep it square. So, yeah, that actually goes pretty good. I like that. Now, the only thing is, is trying to keep it square with the wall. And every time I snap to something, it wants to rotate on me. So let's put it right there before it decides to move on me. And I need a hammer, and I gotta make another hammer. Yeah, and this is the only way I've been able to figure it out. If I try to snap. Now, if I were to keep building this and attach it to that house or that wall, this whole thing's gonna change. And let's see how straight I am. I'm probably way off. Let's have a look here. Oh yeah, way off. Yeah, so I want to get my perspective to it, so it's parallel, so I can get an idea. Let's see here. Here's the wall. I'm looking at the ground, not anything else. In case you're not trying to get any stupid, crazy ideas there. Yeah, a little off. So let's go ahead and fix this. The problem, is, the hardest thing is trying not to move the mouse while I'm doing this. Because then I rotate. Alright, so. so. A little bit more. Right there. Let's see if I. Oh. It's not what I want to do. I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's get it in there before it decides to change. And there we go. Okay. Yeah, that looks a little better. Alright, so now we'll go ahead and just add a few more of these. Um, hmm. Let's try two this two this way and then three this way. Oh, I need sticks. Of course I need sticks. I got sticks over here. We'll probably have to go ahead up the, the lumber mill soon. And I think once I start getting a few things in, it's going to help put things together a little bit better because... I'm not dealing with anything but an open field right now, basically, and this is the only structure, really. But things will get better. I need I need to get some sticks. I think that's all I have. Yes, that is. All right, and these these stone cubes—they take so much so much resources. I'd really like it if they if they would come out with like a half slab, like that would be perfect. Uh, you never know, we got an update, should have an update coming up in the next day or two. So, we'll see what they bring us. Alright, uh, what do I have for stone? I don't have any stone at all. Alright, well let me finish this up and then I'll bring you back when I'm done. Alright, so I got it done, I, I decided to give them a little bit bigger of a space and I started getting a little bit better of an idea of, about this. Uh, what I'm going to do is, we're going to go ahead and we're going to build them a, build them a small house on here. Uh, let's see, wood wall, put that there, wall door, yes, okay. So, hmm, it's going to be a small house, we'll put a wall here, uh, I'm putting, using, making all the windows have shutters on them, uh, yeah, one there, and then let's put another one here. Don't need too many. I went ahead and I uh, grabbed this, the smelter, furnace, whatever they call it, and uh, the anvil. So we are good to go. And I picked up a chest for them too. Or maybe even two of them. No, I got the one chest. All right. So this is. Let's see what we got here. Two, three. Let's go to back to walls. Like so, and then we'll put another window with a shutter here. You know, that's a, it's not a shutter, that's a door. Uh, hmm, what side do I want the door on? I'll have the door on this side. So let's get rid of this. What? I did want five. And window with shutters. Go to six. Window, or wooden wall with door. Alright, I don't think I have any metal parts I mean oh I do okay go ahead and finish this up 
I should have enough supplies on me. And yeah, there's that. Now for the door, and the door is expensive. I need timbers too. Okay, well, I need timbers, I need sticks, I need metal parts. So let me go ahead and get this done. I'll bring you back when we got the walls up. All right, so that's what I got so far. I'm thinking with this one, we're gonna go with the the, the wood stick roof instead of the thatch. But after I got this up, I realized it doesn't have much room here. So let's go ahead and expand this one more. Uh, I don't care if it's in the ground. I'll hit it with the pickaxe if I have to. Oh, I'm out of sticks. Of course I'm out of sticks. I don't have any logs on me, and no, I don't. Uh, that'll be fine for now. Uh, let's actually see what we need for the sticks, or for the, the wood roof. See, he doesn't need much. He's going to come up here. He might have a little fence section here for the stairs, and then maybe a little fenced-off area, or maybe I'll just put the stairs all around. I'll just have it sort of open-ended, because this is going to be like the, the center of the marketplace here, sort of. Right, he's going to have a little stall here. I've been thinking about setting up a little seed storage shack for him. Maybe like a little tool shed or something, because we do have some unplowed area on this side of the fence here. Or the house. But, yeah, uh, let's go ahead and see what we need for those walls, because I might have to go in. Need timber and sticks. Timber and sticks, of course. Well, I'm going to... Actually, clear that some of that out if we can. No, that's not actually hitting it. Um, <laughs> excuse me? What just happened? Did I actually just break it? I have no idea. <laughs> Let's find out. I guess it wasn't actually showing. This one shows? Is this one? I have no idea. I don't have enough stone to find out. And we're stuck. Anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get this out of here. And get that out of here. And that can go in the anvil in the furnace. So let's give him a chest. Put it right up against the wall. Not in the wall. Uh, yeah, there. And then the furnace. Uh, put the furnace right about here, I think. It should work. Except for the fact that it's facing the wrong way. Uh, let's pick it up. Why not? I said pick it up. Just put it in my pocket. Put it right next to the ladder. Okay, there we go. That's better than I can have the anvil here. And what I would like is to be able to keep this thing full of full of firewood, just to keep it burning, so at least we get the atmosphere. But I know it's not Minecraft. I can't exactly hook up a hopper to this thing and keep it going. But, yeah, let me, uh... Let's actually head off to the lumber mill. Since I already have the trees cut ready to go. And then again, I'd like to get, you know, some sort of logging camp or something set up here, but that's down the road got a few out of here and uh, a few out of here if I can reach it excuse me can I, can I have you there you are yeah you can't actually grab the logs you have to actually grab the the stockpile okay and then that works that's close enough There's another one I can go, but it teleports me, like, sort of right about here, or fast travels, I should say. But, let's go ahead and get, raise the roof here. Let's make, uh, get the right inventory panel here. Make some timbers. Make a few sticks, and I keep forgetting that if you change it, it cancels it. And... We go here, we do a wooden roof, like so, and this means I'm going to have to build some stairs to climb up there again. I actually like that. It's nice. See, I actually have to climb up there to put this up there. It won't 
won't go up there on its own. So, uh, let me go ahead and frame up the roof, and I'll bring you back when I'm done. Okay, there it is. My little blacksmith shop. I don't know if I want to put another door on the side here, but uh, that's what we got so far. I'll have to fill out these areas a little bit. Oh, I broke it. Okay, that's what happened. So I gotta dismantle that and... Oh, where is it? Damaged stone cube. Not anymore. Uh, but yeah, I'll fix that up. Uh, I'll see what I can do about um, these. I don't think there's any other types of fences or anything. There's like these railings. Let's actually have a look at these. See how big these are. Oh, those are pretty big. Yeah, I don't like those. What else do we have? You know what I think would be the, the fence, but the fence is a full six high. Or full block high. But... Eh, maybe we'll work something out with the timbers. We go... Take the timber, we'll put that here. I had to make the ladder, of course. But you know what I mean? We could do something like this. Because the timbers, you can make them any size you want. Go ahead and hit a rotate there, so we can go like... Something like that. Go back to the full size one. And rotate like that, and we can actually make our own railings and stuff like that. So it's not too bad. I'll figure it out. Maybe I'll come up with something uh, between now and the next episode. But anyways, uh, that's what we have for today. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I will see you in the next one. And yes, there will be a next episode. Later.